So in this lesson, we are going to look at identifying counting numbers as well as whole numbers. This is an important part of algebra. Now, learning algebra is similar to learning a language. You start with a basic vocabulary and then you add to it as you go along. And you also need to practice often until the vocabulary becomes very easy for you. And the more you use that vocabulary, the more familiar it becomes. Same applies to algebra as well. Algebra uses numbers and symbols to represent words and ideas. This is a very fundamental fact about algebra. Now let's look at the numbers. So the most basic numbers that are used in algebra, that those that we use to count objects, they start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. These numbers are called counting numbers. And just remember that the notation dot 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 here is called an ellipsis which is just another way to show and so on or that the pattern continues endlessly. So counting numbers are also known as natural numbers. Now counting numbers can be visualized on a number line as is shown in the figure here. The point that is the starting which is the, does, doesn't have any label here is known as the origin and the points that are equally spaced from the origin towards the right are labeled with the counting numbers. So when a number is paired with a point, it is called the coordinate of the point. So, you know, the, the number one is pointed over here. It's the coordinate of this point. Now, the, if we move on from the counting numbers to the next type of numbers called the whole numbers. Now, the discovery of the number zero was a big step in the history of mathematics. So literally just including zero with the counting numbers gives us a new set of numbers called the whole numbers. So whole numbers simply are the counting numbers and the zero. Now in the previous line, we stopped at, uh, you know, um, the counting the numbers up until like nine in this case, right? But this, this can keep on going more and you, you could just need to imagine that this line goes on and on and on. So that's all it is, right? That's a very quick introduction to what is the counting numbers and what are the whole numbers.